If you're like me, then you probably have an iPhone. And if you don't have an iPhone, odds are you've seen plenty of people that had an iPhone, or you had one yourself and transitioned to some other mobile device. Regardless of what your opinion on the products are, you can't deny that they have a lot of fans and a lot of people that will defend them till their dying breath. But there's one major thing in iPhones that just really annoys me, and it's more of a mild infuriating thing as opposed to something that is genuinely just super off about the device. And that major thing for me is the App Store. Now the App Store functions as you would expect one too. It helps promote new apps or ideas, games, and you can see your purchases and do so much more on it. But the reason that the Apple App Store annoys me is if you want to download a game or app, then you gotta scroll really far down just to see the charts. And it seems like a super small thing to nitpick. But here's why I think this way. You gotta scroll pretty far down just to see where the top charts are. When you're someone like me, you probably just want to see what the charts are. You want to know what games are doing well in the paid and for free categories. That's usually kind of how I just determine what game I'm going to get, whether it be free or paid. But as you see right here, you got to scroll pretty far down just to get to the top charts, pretty much to the end of the page. And it's a small thing like that that really annoys me. Back when I had my original iPod Touch... The charts for the apps and games would be right there. It would be like the first thing you would see if you were looking for games. And you'd be able to see it all really easily, really quickly. But now it's so far down, you gotta scroll and scroll just to get there. Here on the app side, you got your, oh, rediscover this, our favorites, basically some sort of advertisement. New to iPhone? Download these apps. Okay, I get it. These are sections that I can completely understand being on the interface. It's just the fact that that's what they want me to go to first that annoys me. I've only had Apple devices in terms of cell phones. I know what is on the phone. I don't need a section for new to iPhone being in my face. If someone just bought an iPhone, I totally get it. Uh, but for me, someone who's had an Apple product their whole life, uh, I, I don't need a section called new to iPhone. I'm not new to iPhone. Popular apps, okay, I get it, but what determines if it's popular? Apps we love right now, so the developers or the people who work at Apple are like, hey, here's what, here's what we're using, here's what we like. Made for kids, okay. Editor's choice, okay. Spotlight for the Apple Watch. I don't own one of those. Apple Watch starter kit. Still don't own one of those. The Stay Informed. Okay, all these sections make total sense to me. And then you're basically at the bottom of the page again, and there you go. Now there's your charts for the top free apps and the top paid apps. And then you can scroll even down and get the categories. Why does it need to be all the way down there? It's the small things that annoy me. It really isn't that major. In, in in terms of the game section, it's basically the exact same thing as the app section. They're basically the, both the same thing. It's like, hey, here's some basically ads. Uh, here's what we think you should download. Here's what other people are playing. The Apple Arcade annoys me too because you think I'm going to pay a subscription service to play some games. I mean, like, mobile gaming's huge, but it's just not my cup of tea. So I, I could give a shit about Apple Arcade. The Today section in the App Store, I get. I don't have any issue with it. I mean, it's in its own section, so cool. Uh, whatever they want to do there is fine by me, I guess. Uh, searching, you can do that. That's fine. The search, if all these things function as intended. It's just that super minor inconvenience of having to scroll all the way down here to see the charts <laughs> that agitates me. And, like, I, I'm going to say, like, the video is going to be totaled something like Apple's awful App Store design, but, like... It's not a bad design of the store, it's just the way that it's organized, and sometimes it changes its organization. Like, there's been days where the, the charts are, like, at the top of the page. It's like, why can't it be like that all the time? Why can't I edit that, actually? That should be an option. But it's not. It just seems really annoying, and it's minuscule, is what it is. It's, it's really not major at all, but it annoys me. And that's all this video was, was just me griping and being annoyed at the user interface of an, an app store. Because it, to me, it just feels like, hey, we're going to shove all these things down your throat uh, until you get to where you want to go, which is the charts. And I don't know if any other people share that same sentiment. I, myself, I go to the charts for pretty much anything. If I don't know what I'm looking for. If I go to the App Store, odds are I know what I'm there to download. Or I go to the charts. 
it annoys me a lot. It probably doesn't annoy as much people as I'm making it seem like it does, but it annoys me. I want to see the charts. Stop, sh stop shoving everything down my throat. So what do you guys think about the Apple App Store? Does it annoy you a little bit too? Like, again, it's not a major issue. It's just a small thing, a minor inconvenience that agitates me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.